for day two of our, of our brake testing, um, we took these carbon ceramics off and did an iron brake conversion. Now, a lot of people do that straight out of the dealership. Why? Well, uh, $15,000 uh, for carbon ceramic discs. $15,000. So they're super light, they're awesome, but they're $15,000. So if I have to buy those, if I have to buy a replacement, I'm probably gonna buy iron. So we put the gyro disc on this car. Gyro discs are a two-piece rotor, floating, aluminum hat, just a premium piece, super well-made, and $2,600. So whatever that is, a sixth of the purchase price of the, of the carbon ceramics. And we paired that with a Pagod RSL 29 pad. So again, we're, we're kind of with that carbon ceramic package on the car still, which means we still have those carbon ceramic calipers. So it's a, it's a different pad shape. Pagod makes a few different pads for that, for that caliper. Um, we chose the RSL 29. Now, looking at the data, which again, it's driver impression, it's data to say, yep, you're, you're right. Um, driver impression, okay, we've got 15 more pounds per corner to slow down. And you feel that, you feel that rotational mass. Um, data would say, yeah, you're right, James, there is 15 more pounds per corner. Um, maybe you need to clamp that thing a little harder. So uh, again, I'd look to pack it and maybe do an RST uh, pad for this. RSL, fantastic track day pad um, for a two ton car, close to, that just got 15 pounds per corner rotational inertia added. Um, you know, personally, in that race environment or, or the way I drive a car, I want a little bit more. So, so for me, an RST, Paget RST pad would, would probably be the choice. RSL 29s performed flawlessly though. Um, you know, fantastic pad and great pairing with those gyro disc rotors. And again, an iron disc conversion for this thing. It's, it's certainly palatable from a, from a price standpoint. It's a fantastic performance setup um, sure, do I want carbon ceramic and am I willing to drop that kind of coin? You know, maybe, maybe you are, I'm not. Um, so this is probably a solid option. It's probably the one I would choose um, if I own this car with, with, uh, with that carbon ceramic package and I was gonna keep the, the stock calipers on it.